On the 3rd of September in 1902, James Halley bore witness to a chance showdown, an encounter between the captain of the French military cruiser D'Estrie and Little Bay's mining captain, a Mr. John Robert Stewart. This is a lost tale of Little Bay, Newfoundland's hidden history. Now, to give you some context for our story, the French shore of Newfoundland was basically under two governments at once. You had the English and the French. Much of the Northwest shoreline was under French jurisdiction until 1904. This was heavily disputed fishing grounds. Saab's Arm was one such place. And it was there that Little Bay's mine captain, John Stewart, was developing a gold mine operation in the fall of 1902. John Stewart was this pipe-smoking, globe-trotting geology expert, a diplomat, he's a community organizer, and he's an active member of Little Bay's community. He's, he's a member of the Little Bay Reading Room, the town's temperance movement, its Masonic Lodge. So you've got this educated traveler who made his way to Newfoundland in 1882, where he was already known in mining circles before he'd arrived. This guy was a big deal. Now, we're getting this story from James Howley, this famous Newfoundland cartographer who published his map of Newfoundland in 1914. Howley is an avid woodsman. He's a survivalist. He is charting Newfoundland by walking across it, facing every bit of this frigid North Atlantic weather and rocky shores. He's marching through every kind of terrain, sleeping in a tent. He comes up on Stuart at Sop's Arm. Howley reflected on Stuart very positively, and he wrote, Stuart is a regular gold mining expert, having spent several years in Australia and the Western U.S., as well as the Rockies of British Columbia. Gold is his hobby, and he naturally understands a great deal about it. It was a beautiful September day. The sky was clear. Everyone is working, doing their regular routine. Moods are high. When suddenly over the horizon appears a French military cruiser. This is dark and threatening. This mass of military metal. And this showing of French force is ominous. Anything could happen in the following moments. The steam-powered ship lurches closer and closer to the shore. And everybody stops whatever they're doing to watch. Now, this French vessel is stationed around Newfoundland to protect French fishing rights, but it can easily hinder Stewart's mining operation. Tensions are running really high, and this smaller vessel descends from the cruiser. The French officer rows into the shore. And now, at this point, everybody is sweating bullets. Everybody except Stewart invites the French officer into his office and everybody else is forced to wait outside anxiously. They'd be dying to hear this conversation between these two powerful men as it would have vast implications on their livelihoods. The minutes ticked by. But after what surely felt an eternity, the French officer walked outside seemingly pleased and perhaps a little richer? The French vessel left peaceably that day. But the pressure that this had put on these mining operations cannot be understated. Life at the site slowly returned to normal, but the event left a mark on James Howley. It prompted him to write of the encounter in his journals, as well as his glowing impression of John Stewart and his masterful handling of this French imposition. The French shore treaties were a hot topic in Little Bay during this era, and the end of those treaties in 1904 was celebrated by the folks there. Their mining captain, John Stewart, he was more than just a giant in Newfoundland mining, and this is just one of the tales which should have cemented his legacy in Newfoundland history. This has been another one of the lost tales of Little Bay, Newfoundland's hidden history. Thank you for watching.